Wait, his kitchen has a couch? Why is there a couch in the kitchen? Uh, who the hell is calling at this hour? Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Go to the Southport Dock to see Mr. Guy. Sure thing. Take the clothes. I should probably actually uh, go to, like, actually, it doesn't look like I'm wanted anymore. Oh. Hello. It doesn't look like I'm wanted anymore. Hey, that Alright, that's lucky. Crazy people. Alright, let's get a car, I suppose. Get your car from Joe's Garage. So is it no longer wanted as well? Okay, take the car. Repair the car first. Yeah, sure. There we go. Oh, nope, it's wanted. Damn it. Alright, so that's want. So it's wanted. And, oh god, this is great. Oh, also, yes, yeah, so we just saw there that the repairing the car cost a lot of money. Right? And yet Joe wouldn't pay the $7 for the lockpicks. Further proof, Joe is fucking insane. My goodness. I... Seven dollar lockpicks. <laughs> he's, oh, he's he's insane. I just do not understand that Joe guy. Never, never have, never will. And it's probably best that I never do. Really, don't want to turn into him, because it probably isn't too fun. Ooh, ooh, hold on. I can repair my thing if I have enough money. Anyway, I just spent two hundred and twenty-nine bucks trying to repair this piece of shit. Hey, welcome. Hey, hello. Could you just uh, can I do you for, fix pal? one of my plates? Fifty dot. Jesus Christ, mate. What do you think I am? Uh, made of money? I suppose. Are you no problem. I suppose this is why it, like costs so much. They don't want people like constantly changing it and shit. So, oh god, don't have enough cash. All right. There you go. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So now I've got to drive more safer. Great. Can't be reckless because then they'll spot me. Oh, bloody brilliant. Of course. Alright. There we go. So now it's time to slowly but surely make our way there. So I guess this isn't going to be too interesting. So just I'll so I guess I'll just skip there. If you want to know where I'm going, I'm following the red marker on the minimap. Alright, so we're at the Southport area place thing. And it's time to start the mission. Sweet. Uh, something that I doesn't. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that the whole walking to missions part of the game is pretty much over. It looks like we're going to be spending most of our tri time driving from like one side of the map to the other. Like we were like somewhere over here, and now we're all the way down here. So. Yeah, we're probably never going to be able to, like, walk, like, a block and then be at our mission. Oh, well. Hey! Close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now, Scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. 
Jeez, don't sound so happy about it. Your joy will spread to everyone else, then you'll cure all the depression in the world. Please, stop, please, please, oh, please, oh, man, oh, man, you're so damn happy. This looks like, can I go back to the stealing cars? This doesn't look as interesting. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Okay. Let's lift this crate. <sighs> Is this... Really? Are we really doing this? Okay. This is happening. This this is happening. Amazing. All right. Let's just do the rest, I suppose. Oh yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Jeez, all this for 10 lousy bucks? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, man. We've got to do it, man. we got to do it for the pay at the end of the day. Oh, how can these guys stand this? I'm doing this for five fucking minutes, I already hate it. I don't even think you've done it for five fucking minutes yet, mate. I think you've done it for like two and a half fucking minutes. So don't, don't say you've done it for five minutes when you haven't done for five minutes, mate. I'm here with you, so you can't lie to me. I know you better than you know yourself. There we go, four done. Oh, we're making good progress. I like how they actually stopped giving him lines after this. They didn't expect anyone to actually continue to do the manual labor. But I'm a hard worker. I do what I'm told to do. His mama wanted him to do some work like his old papa. He gonna be like his old papa. And he'll bloody like it. There we go. You know what? I don't need this chicken shit money. Are you kidding? Really? Re really? Really? I can't... Wow, you can't actually pick any more up. Wow, I was actually going to... I had planned on doing all of them. He's like, no. You're done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit, nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Can I go back to lifting up the crates for ten bucks? That was honestly pretty interesting. I would have loved if there was like an achievement for doing all of that, like... Manual labor, achievement unlocked. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who wanna load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but... I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? No, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Is this supposed to be tense? Because, like, Joe actually knows us. We know that Joe knows us, so it's not really tense at all. 
He might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. Man, really? Can I not collect the crates? Fucking real. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. And that's one. Fourteen more to go. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. And hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Oh, weapons are not allowed. Really? Oh, you wanna go, man? Fucking... Get ya. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta actually fight him. Okay, come on. I can't hit him too hard because then he'll actually... Alright. Yeah, I just... I can't hit him too hard because then he won't be able to do his job. That might have been too hard. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Thank you very much, sir. Alright, uh, now it's up to you, old man. Hey. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Oh, can I can I really not just use my gun? Can I just not pull out my M1911 and totally just like shoot him in the kneecap? Oh, I suppose that would actually put him out of commission. Can I not just scare him with the gun at least? Like just fire a warning shot, be like, I'm not kidding around, asshole. And then just totally scare him like that. Because I could do that, I'm sure. Ow. Okay, yeah, but nope. Not, not going to be allowed, apparently. Oh, well. Alright, time for a hard hit, mate. Take that. That was easy. This guy is, like, such a pushover. He's like, oh, I'm big bad man. But no, you're nothing. Mate, you're nothing. Kick the shite out of him. Okay, anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Oh yeah, I got this guy already. This guy already paid. Oh, I guess everyone paid while while during the fake to black. All right then. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watch you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, 
Right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. And say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. And Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Sweet. Alright, let's drive to Freddy's in Little Italy. Little Italy. Little Italy. Little Italy. Little Italy. A GG, everyone. Oh.